In this video I want to show you what it takes to make thousands of these mushroom grow kits for Christmas. So I'm often asked what is exactly the easiest way to grow mushrooms at home and the answer isn't so difficult in my book, it would be to just get a pre-inoculated grow kit that you just simply open up at home and a few days, few days later you'll see that mushrooms will just be growing and doubling in size every day. It truly is a, a miracle of nature basically how quickly these organisms can grow. Now for us these grow kits are an enormously important part of our business because we love making them for people to fruit at home and we love getting the responses from them and especially around Christmas it's a really popular gift. It's a time of year where we sell thousands of them and that in turn means that there's a lot of stuff going on at the farm at the moment. So if you want to find out what's involved join Adam on his tour he'll have a little walk around of the farm and make sure everything is ship -shaped. Our Christmas kit production begins outside where we soak and pasteurise a load of straw and that then gets mixed in with some coffee grounds inside our mixing room. So let's just go and take a quick look at that. Inside here today we've got Ross and Luca making the next batch of kits. So in here they're basically just mixing up the straw and the coffee grounds, uh, placing them in the bags, sealing them and then before they go into the incubation room. So let's take a look in the incubation room. Um, we actually have three different incubation rooms on the go at the moment. We're really packing in as many kits as we can. And as you can see, you know, we're absolutely covered with kits everywhere you look. And um, during this phase of the process, what we're doing really is monitoring the kits really closely. Um, you can see there are some kits here which are just a day or so old. And they're just beginning to show some little bits of sign of life where the spawn's starting to grow. And others like these over here, which are around about 10 days old now and almost ready for packing. So the kits stay in here for around about two weeks and at this point we're basically really keeping an eye out to make sure that we don't see any signs of contamination in the bags. Obviously when you're making this many kits if you start to have problems with uh, mold or contamination in your bags it could potentially spread and affect thousands of other bags so we're really really on it keeping an eye out for that but thankfully all of our production is looking really healthy and we've got no signs of any problems. So once the kits have fully incubated in here, that's when they head over to the packing room. So once the kits are fully incubated, they come up here to our packing room, where we have an amazing team of packers. We've got uh, today we've got Josh and Ronya, who are um, packing all the kits. And what happens at this stage basically is the kits come in, they just get boxed and instructions added and put into the postal bags. And then they come next door well, we have a wall of kits beginning to build up here and we're now towards the end of November so we've got about three weeks left um, until all these kits will be gone and all of our advertising is just beginning to ramp up at the moment and we'll begin to start dispatching all the kits this week and they'll make their way to their final destination where obviously they'll be given as a gift for someone for Christmas and that's one of the things I love most about the making and selling mushroom grow kits is you get to pass on the joy of growing mushrooms to thousands of other people who have never grown mushrooms before or maybe they have and they just want to do it again but most people have never grown mushrooms before they've never seen how they grow and they're just fascinated and they really love the process and we get to hear lots of nice feedback from people they send us pictures and just tell us how much they enjoy the whole process which is really satisfying um, but it's also just become a huge part of our business across the year so we uh, shut down our fresh mushroom production for three months in the run-up to Christmas just to focus on this entirely and to fill every little bit of space we've got with kits being made or incubated or packed and ready for dispatch. And um, we found that a number of members in our course community have begun to add grow kits onto their small mushroom farms as well. It's a great way to add additional revenue on to alongside your fresh mushroom production. Um, so if that's something that interests you in any way at all, do check out the guide we've got below on how to set up a low-tech mushroom farm. We do uh, run a Grow Kits Masterclass course specifically on how to make and sell mushroom kits. So if that interests you, do go and check it out. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one soon.